What is up guys? I just secured the bag on Lombo number six. Go ahead and check it out. It's where we build a long combo, like a workout, minute by minute, adding a combo or a couple punches one at a time. So hope you guys enjoyed this Lombo. Get after it. All right, everybody, here we go. Lombo number six, we're gonna start with a double offensive jab. Each time you pump that jab, make sure you're closing the distance. Start at two arms lengths away. All right, here we go. Double jab and then retreat. Big steps in, you're covering a lot of distance. You're pumping that jab. That jab doesn't have to come all the way back to the face after the first one. Bring it about maybe halfway back. Just, just enough to get your pump back. Make sure we're stepping in each time, and then we're retreating, okay? Best case scenario, retreat with those hands up near your chin, and keep it moving, all right? We're double jabbing. We're not staying, staying in the same spot. If you have the luxury of a bigger space, make sure you're moving, all right? Working your head movement. Uh, you can even play around with it if you want to go high and then low, Start with the, if you're going in, you can go high and then low. I think I do that here in a little bit, just like that. Kind of Floyd Mayweather it. Um, but yeah, have fun with it. Six more seconds, keep pumping that double jab. Make sure you're entering and exiting on that. Good work and rest. Big deep breaths, shake out a little bit. Feel yourself. Yeah, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are enjoying these Lombos. Um, the next few videos, the uh, videos are gonna start looking a little different. I'm gonna get some work done in the gym. So be on the lookout for that. All right, now we got the double jab in, rear hook to the body, lead hook to the body, and then retreat, okay? You can double jab out if you'd like. So double jab in, rear hook, lead hook, and make sure you're changing levels to get those hooks to the body in the right placement. And then of course, you're gonna retreat out Maybe circle out, but stay moving. Good work. I love staying just light on my feet. That's my style. I'm not uh, flat-footed at all. And it's also better just to train that way because you're, you're not going to be a stationary target. All right, so get light on your feet. Move around. Don't just throw the combo and retreat. Throw the combo and retreat. Circle out. Dance around a little bit. Mess with your footwork. And then re-throw the combo. Looking really good. Also, make sure you're breathing with your punches. If you don't know how to properly breathe with your punches, make sure you check out my breath work video. Um, I may throw a link to that above. I may not. Keep it up. And that's the last one for that round. Excellent job on round number two. Deep breaths. Hope you got your sweat in and everything by now. So go ahead and start throwing a little harder throwing a little more intention uh, but other than that it's looking good all right we're gonna stay moving on our feet and working into round number three double jab in rear hook to the body lead hook to the body rear hook to the head lead hook to the head so what we're doing is we're working up the bag or up the body all right double jab in rear hook lead hook rear hook lead hook we're working those up the body getting them to cover down low and then we go high Ooh. Man, I was just looking at myself there. That was looking good. Just let those let those punches fly off the shoulders. It's it's a weird balance because you are using power and there's tension there in the flex. There's also a, a looseness to it. So just let your body flow up that back. Excellent job. 30 more seconds to work here. And then you see the head movement going. Make it realistic. Maybe slip a punch in your entry. Um, maybe shake out for a second. Good work. But we're always retreating so we can double jab back into that entry. That's super important, this one. We want to enter safely into range. The way you do that, the way I like to do that, is throwing jabs. Okay? Three more seconds. Maybe get one more in. Excellent. And rest. Looking good. I like going slow, deep inhale and through the nose. And then a short burst out through the mouth all right we're populating our lungs with oxygen and then expelling all the bad stuff as quick as possible double jab in rear hook to the body lead hook to the body rear hook to the head lead hook to the head plant and roundhouse 
Okay, make sure you reach across like you're grabbing their opposite shoulder and you throw that roundhouse with intention. There it is, nice and smooth until you get it down and then you can start throwing harder. So a lot of times I say put on your seatbelt with your roundhouse. I like when I'm throwing combos to actually, especially when I'm in close like that, I like grabbing the opposite shoulder of my uh, opponent there, or you know, the bag, and then throwing that roundhouse right over the hand. Grab and throw. What that does is it's really defensive too. Like if they want to throw a counter, your hand's already up, blocking. And it actually can be a balance thing too. You can actually grab onto that shoulder and know where your target is. Good work. Keep retreating. Each combo retreat is super important. I want you to work on getting into range safely. Excellent job. Hey, if anyone's out there, wait, let's finish this round. And time. Take some breaths. If anyone's out there and has completed every single Lombo, I want you to personally send me a DM on Instagram or comment on YouTube. Uh, I want to I wanna give you a super high five. Virtually. Um, Ten more seconds on this rest. Then we got the last round, y'all. So double jab in, rear hook, lead hook to the body, rear hook, lead hook to the head, roundhouse. Step in to a rear elbow. When you step in, connect that elbow to, to the outside of that knee so you can twist safely. And notice how I stop that bag just for a second, neutralize the opponent, just in case they're rush, rushing in. And then I throw that um, rear elbow. If you don't know how to throw any of the combos in this video, make sure you check out my other tutorials. I pretty much break down every singular technique. Um, that way when you get to a video like this, you should just be able to throw it. But if ever you have an issue with a certain technique, just uh, go check out one of those videos. Alright, boom. Yeah, when you connect that elbow to the knee, that's just a nice safe guard. But when you're turning your back to your opponent briefly, you're going to be safe. I also want you to choose a target on the bag. I want you to get accurate with that spinning uh, back elbow. I like coming up and down too. I don't, I don't throw this as a slash elbow. I throw it almost as a tomahawk elbow. Last one. Excellent job. Oh, do I get one more in? Okay. There you have it. Awesome job. Hope you're feeling yourself. I hope uh, you got this combo. If you didn't, run it back. It's What is it? A seven minute workout? Um, get back after it. I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Um, be blessed. And we'll see you next time. And if you're in the city of Cincinnati, come on down to Powell MMA and Fitness and take a personal class from yours truly. All right, we'll take it.